what's going on guys welcome back to the powerpoint club on today's video let's make this cool project planner infographic just in powerpoint it's dead easy to create and animate you can use it for school business or just for organizing stuff at home let's get into it first up let's insert a rounded edge rectangle from the shape menu position about here and draw something a bit like this And let's get rid of that pesky outline. Next, we need to further round our edges on our rectangle. So grab this yellow node and drag it until we have a fully rounded edge. Hit color and select an off-white color. This one will do nicely. Go over to effects and hit shadow. In the presets, select inside top. Change the transparency to around 80% for a subtle shadow. Grab your rectangle and hit Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate. And let's make six new copies so we have seven in total. Drag the last copy to our final position. Select them all and hit Shape Format. From here, select a line and align to left. Hit Align again and hit Distribute Vertically for a nice even spacing. Select all our rectangles again and hit Ctrl D to duplicate and position these directly over the top. Grab one of the scale nodes and drag into the slide so we can differentiate between the layers. Now we need to change the color. I'm cheating a little bit again by having my color references at the top of my slide. So I'm just gonna eye drop these in from here. Next, we need to give each axis some kind of description. In this instance, I'm just gonna number them. Insert a text box and type in your description. Change the font. I'm using Unisans Heavy, which I will link in the description. Hit right align, and with control pressed on your keyboard, click and drag to make copies for all your rectangles. Use the smart guides to help you position them centrally. Go ahead and change your text and match the color to the corresponding rectangle. Hit control on your keyboard and click and drag to make a copy. Position at the left bottom of your rectangle. Centralize the text and make it a little bit smaller and change the color to something neutral. Hit Ctrl D on your keyboard, make 11 copies. and position your last copy at the end of the rectangle. Select them all and hit Shape Format and choose Align, Align at the top, Align again and hit Distribute Horizontally. Edit the text. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch my slow typing. Next, let's label our colored rectangles. Type directly into the shape. Change the font again to Unisans go through and label each of the remaining blocks. Again, I'll speed this up. Don't worry about them being the right font at the moment. Now we'll use the format paint function to copy the text format from our top box to the blocks with the wrong font. With the correctly formatted text box selected, Double click Format Painter and go ahead and paint over the text with the wrong font. A cheeky pro tip, a single click of the Format Painter will give you just one format change, but a double click will let you keep going. Handy if you have loads of things you want the same. Once you're finished, 
hit ESC on your keyboard to turn the painter off. Now move your colour blocks around to position. With SHIFT pressed on your keyboard, this will constrain the movement to keep it in line with the bottom rectangle. Let's insert a text box and add a title to this slide. Our final touch is to add some animation. Press SHIFT on your keyboard and click all your coloured blocks to select them all. Go up to Animations and choose Wipe. Move over to Effect Options and choose From Left. Let's whiz these on the screen by shortening up the duration. Hit Animation Pane again and within the window select all your animations and from the drop down choose On Click. This will bring in each item when you click your mouse. So let's take a look. Boom! Elegant, simple and really quick to create. With more time, add a second slide, move your coloured blocks around and add a morph animation. Change the colour scheme by adjusting the background colour and your rectangle fill. Or even add more notes. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, a nice and quick one today. If the planner isn't your thing, I'm sure you can use some of the design principles or even pull out a few techniques for your next project. If you have any suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments and I'll get to it. Thanks so much for watching, please subscribe, like and comment and more videos are on the way.